So some of the other projects they get kind of messy and you know, they don't usually remember to film in the middle of but um, yeah everything that came out this oil is not from that uh, this is a lot drier so it does have a little oil odor but man now I'm, I'm thinking the other EGR pipe where that was more goopy I'm wondering if that didn't come through the exhaust so not you know it didn't come through the uh, EGR cooler EGR valve down this little EGR pipe and then through the other pipe the other pipe those extra two bands um, I wonder if they uh, caught uh, the majority of the oil came somehow up, I don't know, uh, sloshing around that, uh, you know, you got quite a vacuum sucking in uh, air. So um, with the oil from that uh, PCV uh, valve, that was definitely in bad condition and uh, whatever is flowing through maybe there so hopefully that's a situation where first i was thinking i'm getting oil coming through the cylinders that's causing the misfire uh, but you know uh maybe there was some exhausted <laughs> not combusted i don't know um uh yeah that's a whew, that's a big sigh release so now i'm going to see if i can get in there with a mirror and see what it looks like in there and uh, flashlight we need a flashlight See what I can do to kind of pick my way, clean that out. And um, other than the situation where that valve would be stuck open, and I've read where some guys do take these uh, screws off, it's the Phillips head situation. So I do have uh, stainless steel hex um, head bolts to replace those if I did. Uh, but I need to read into a little more because I didn't plan on doing that right now. So I'd have to make sure I'm highly confident of what I'm doing. Uh, before I open that up because uh, that uh, has uh, more detailed positioning when uh, reassembling um, and then there might be some care that needs to be specifically taken uh, when uh, disassembling so to make that uh, reassemble process easier. Uh, I can't think of anything else offhand but yeah that's like super cool to see it got me stoked right now. So I might just wind up leaving this EGR cooler on. I was planning on doing that anyways, reassembling everything, just because I'm like, there was more paranoid that there might still be uh, oil in the cylinder, um, the pistons, uh, you know, which um, hopefully it's not much if there is any, uh, if that, if that in fact was the cause of the misfire condition, because as I saw, you know, kind of briefly, um, but mainly here uh, this morning looking at the air filter, the air filter was clogged up more than I expected, and um, wasn't as much oil down there, you know, I mean there's oil down there definitely, and there's definitely a cruddy sludge. Um, so, you know, maybe it was more likely that there's just so much of that, not typically, um, sludgy soot, uh, that would probably more readily, uh, evenly distribute in the cylinder, uh, through, you know, going in through the, uh, intake and valves and into the cylinder and combust more effectively. Instead, the situation, I'm guessing, might be wrong, I don't know, just figure I'll throw it out there, see if anybody has a comment, you know, make sure to comment down below. I'm guessing that oil-laden, you know, soot turned to sludge, and uh, plus, you know, there's probably some pretty hard on the intake, you know, a little bit of flaky, uh, kind of, you know, carbon, harder carbon deposits, and, you know, you get a combo of that going through the cylinders, and poof, not, <laughs> not good having the extra volume in, uh, you know, because that could uh, uh, probably, what would my, what would, you know, maybe, I doubt it, I doubt it, looking at the injectors, I doubt it's the injectors, uh, more likely, I'm guessing, probably a smarter thing to do is, you know, you can tell I'm trying to not have to take off the cowling, the windshield wipers, the windshield wiper cowling, probably be best to inspect those spark plugs, as those might need to be brushed off a little bit, you know, most replace them, but I'm, Guess so this need to be brushed off. Um, those those could have gotten a little sludge moment there and uh, struggled. So um, yeah, just I don't see any coolant going down at all. So and I don't smell any coolant. It's, I definitely smell oil and I smell gas. So uh, guessing, uh, hopefully not a volume issue or be you know too much uh, pressure. You know, 
compression on uh, that uh, piston crankshaft those bearings and all um, but uh, yeah and I'm hoping I'm guessing that blow by uh, the oil maybe though there could have been oil blowing by the boy I'm seeing that more sooty I'm feeling a lot more confident that the oil is coming down from this location in the PCV valve and while I've been talking for 517 but I guess I'm excited so I might have to take a break <laughs> cool man that's super 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 good uh, that's not that like just doubles the whole project time i don't want to spend another day on this really okay uh, bye for now